everybody, you're watching your top intelligence agencies review. I'm your host, Bryce Dolan. Now today we look at a press release from the Federal Bureau of Investigation, or the FBI. Now Bianca Bush Bronson, 38, is a former office manager for a consulting and lobbying firm and has been sentenced to three years in prison for a scheme in which she embezzled more than $340,000 from her employer. Now, Bush Bronson of Washington, D.C. pled guilty in April 2016 to a charge of wire fraud in the United States District Court for the District of Columbia. She was sentenced on January 18, 2017, so just last Thursday, by the Honorable Tanya S. Chunkin. Following her prison term, Bush Bronson will be placed on three years of supervised release. She also is subject to a restitution order that will be imposed later by the court. Now, according to the government's evidence, Bush Bronson worked from April 2011 to October 2012 for a business identified in the court documents as Company A, a consulting and lobbying firm in Washington, D.C. Now, she maintained responsibility for the company's day-to-day -day financial operations, including preparing checks, depositing funds, performing reconciliation of funds in bank accounts, and serving as a point of contact with the bank. Now, from June 2011 through October 2012, to the government's, according to the government's evidence, Bush Bronson issued checks drawn on the company's account to herself, to cash, and to third parties for her own benefit. To conceal this activity, she made false entries in internal books and records. In total, she issued at least $80,000 in checks in this manner, using the money for, among other things, a down payment on a car, a mortgage payment, and a payment to her dentist. Now, Bush Bronson also used the company's credit card to make at least $260,000 in unauthorized purchases for her own personal use at various retailers, including a jewelry store, department stores, and a salon, as well as restaurants, airline tickets, and hotel stays. Finally, she also received $1,470 in parking benefits without authorization. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we usually do social or political or economic issues on the show. Why do we randomly do these show or these articles or press releases about these criminals? Well, it just goes to show you, ladies and gentlemen, and this is one of the reasons, there's a number of reasons why we do it. But one of the my main reasons of why I like covering it is because it shows you that criminals come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. You never know who you can really trust when it comes down to something like money. So that's why I really like do I like to cover these articles, ladies and gentlemen, because when you think of a criminal, you don't think of these white collar crimes that happen constantly if not just as much as all the other crimes that you would think of people would be in jail for for robbery murder rape stuff like that you don't think of embezzlement wire fraud identity theft you don't think of people going to prison for those things so that's an, that's one of the main reasons why we like to cover these articles on the top intelligence agencies review now ladies and gentlemen if you want to look into this case yourself you can find a link directly to this case below in the description and I encourage you to check it out. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get notified every time a new video is posted. Thank you for those of you who have. Make sure that you give our Facebook pages a like and follow us on Twitter. But thank you for watching your top intelligence agencies review ladies and gentlemen. I was your host Bryce Dolan. Mm -hmm.